Is this in focus? I really hope so because this is my second time trying to film this video because my camera just doesn't want to focus for some reason. If you can hear cars outside of my window, I apologize for that. Hey friends, it's Ash. Welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about my first tattoo experience because I don't think I mentioned this on my YouTube channel, but I got a tattoo back in like the end of January and I'm surprised I haven't talked about it on here because it's a pretty big deal. But basically, yeah, so I took the leap. I did it. I got a tattoo and do I regret it? absolutely not so i figured it would be fun to tell you guys about my experience and like what it means to me how i led up to me eventually getting it because it was like it was a half impulse half premeditated decision and i'm gonna explain what that means in a bit but we're doing the intro right now so yeah i figured if you're thinking of getting a tattoo or you just you know are curious and you want to learn about it then i'm here to tell you everything that I've been through with my experience getting a tattoo. So before I get started, I just wanna say, if you're new here, be sure to hit subscribe somewhere down below. You can find the button, give this video a like, and follow me on all of my social medias. My Instagram will be floating around on the screen somewhere. And be sure to check out all of my music because I just released a new song. It's called Come Back To You, and it's available on all streaming platforms right now. So definitely be sure to check that out. It'll all be linked in the description down below. So without further ado, Let's just get into my tattoo experience. Okay, so first I feel like it's only appropriate that I tell you guys what my tattoo is. So I'll insert a picture right here. <laughs> and basically it's just a quote in really simple script and it says love yourself on it because if you don't know me very well then you don't know that my life motto is love yourself. It's something that I try to live by every day and it's gotten me through a lot so that's why i decided to have it engraved on my left rib and let me tell you lesson number one when you're getting a tattoo if you're getting it in a place that's closer to the bone it's gonna hurt like a bitch so like places like your rib cage your foot just anywhere that's close to a bone or like your shoulder blade then it's gonna hurt a lot more than if you get it in a place like your arm right here that's covered in a decent amount of fat where it's not as painful. That's lesson number one. Be sure to keep that in mind if you want to get a tattoo and just like trying to decide placement is how much pain can you take will depend on where you should probably get it on your body. But I didn't care. I have a very low pain tolerance, but I did not care. I decided I wanted it on my left rib because that's where Pinterest said it would look good. I'm kidding. It wasn't just Pinterest, but it was a lot of Pinterest. But yeah, I looked on Pinterest and I saw like people getting quotes on their left rib and I thought that was a really good place to get it because A, it looks really cute and B, it's hidden by my clothes. So like for my first tattoo, I didn't really want it to be in a place where I would have to like look at it all the time just in case I didn't have a great experience, but thankfully I did. But I'm still glad that I got it on my left rib because it's like not too obvious and Let's be real, like how many times am I gonna lift my shirt up in a day and say like, oh, look, look at my tattoo. Like, basically none. So next to go into the backstory of what love yourself means to me, not to go into too much detail because it is pretty personal, but basically throughout my life, I struggled with that concept quite a bit. And during my senior year of high school, I went through like an event that kind of just changed my whole perspective about that and I just realized like oh I need to love myself before I can love other people and I need to count on myself and I can't count on others for my happiness so that like whole idea just really changed my perspective on everything and that is how I thrived throughout my last semester of senior year and my first two quarters of college RIP spring quarter yeah love yourself has a really important meaning to me and that's why i wanted to get it like a tattoo on my body because it's permanent but it's also like a really good tribute to something that has made a very huge impact on my life if that makes any sense so that's just the whole backstory behind why i got my tattoo and i don't think i will ever get a tattoo that's not meaningful to me in some way or that i haven't thought about like a lot 
Okay, so now to talk about like the events that led up to me making this decision. So like I said before, this was half premeditated and half impulse. And by that, I mean like I've been wanting a tattoo for a while and I, I, I kind of knew that I wanted to get something in tribute to that, but I did not know if I was ever actually gonna go through with it or if so, when? And then one day my roommate and I were talking and we were just like, I wanna get a tattoo and she wanted to get a nose piercing. And we we're like, all right, so one day we're just gonna go into the city, we're gonna do it. And she was like, bet. We told our friends that I was gonna do it and I was, I was telling people more to like solidify it in myself so that I can't back out and I'll feel bad <laughs> if I back out, but it took a bit of hyping myself up to get me ready for it. But when I told my friends, all of them were just like, I am coming. And by the time the weekend came, I had this whole entourage of people that wanted to see me get my tattoo. And I had like seven people come with me and it, I, it was a lot, but it was also really helpful because they were all super supportive about it. And they're like, go Ash, you can do it. And that was really nice. So thank you friends for that. On a Saturday morning at the end of January, I think it was like, January 25th. I remember it was pouring rain that day. I was walking to our dining hall to get breakfast with my boyfriend and our socks were soaked, which is totally unrelated to this story, but I just remember it was pouring rain that morning. We all met up with my friends and we took a subway into South Street, which if you don't know the Philly area, that's like a really modern kind of alternative area of the city and it's really cool. There are a lot of like tattoo parlors and boutiques and fun restaurants, but it's a really cool area. And actually I went to a place that my sorority big recommended to me because she got a tattoo at this place and I asked her about it and she said that they were really good. So I decided I would go there too. And it's called Floating World Tattoo. This is really embarrassing. So I walked into the store, right? And oh my God, I go up to the front desk and all my friends are like taking their seats in the waiting room. And I'm just like, um, hi one tattoo please ah, what was wrong with me like i was visibly nervous and they could tell it too and they were kind of just like first time and i was like yeah they were really nice about it and they were very understanding that i was acting like a complete idiot because i had no idea what i was doing they had me pay up front they had me sign the contract and they only allowed me one person to go in the back with me while i got it and of course i chose my boyfriend because not only is he supportive but he has his own tattoo so he knows the vibe. Basically what happened was I showed them a picture of what I wanted and they're like, okay, go to the computer. And they created this like graphic design of what I wanted on my body. And they let me pick the font and like how close together the letters were and how big I wanted it to be. They just told me the logistics of like where it would look best and how big it should be and how big they can make it and all of that. So they went the smallest that I could go. <laughs> And um, when that was all done and settled, uh, they printed out like the paper with the template on it. And it was like parchment paper or transfer paper. I don't really know. Basically, once they got that like template, they put it on my body and they drew out the template in, in like pen or something. I don't really know, it, but it wasn't the official ink is what I'm saying. Like it was just the guide for the guy to actually go in and go like stabby stabby on me. Okay, I don't know what that was, but I digress. After the guy like put the template on me, he had me look in the mirror. He was like, is that good? And I was like, it's Gucci, bro. And that's when the show started. He started giving me the tattoo. It was like, I want to say it was like an eight out of 10 on the pain scale. And it's really just like a burning sensation. Like that's the only way to put it. Cause it's, it's a needle stabbing you like, 50 times per second. So before I knew it, it was over. The procedure took like 10 minutes, but I remember my boyfriend was sitting in the chair next to me and I was squeezing his hands so tight and we were trying to talk to each other so like I could distract myself from the pain. And I was talking a lot and the guy was like, you need to shut up and he needs to talk more. And all of my friends were just like, oh no. He's not as good of a conversationalist as I am, but yeah, that happened. But the procedure took only like 10 minutes and it was done before I knew it. And then I had a tattoo and my friends were really nice to take some videos. So I'm gonna insert them like 
right here so yeah i was just like lying on this table afterwards you can see i was so happy it looked so good and everyone was like oh my gosh it looks amazing yep that was the whole experience of actually getting it so after he finished with like putting the tattoo on me he wrapped me up in this like it was almost like saran wrap and I have a picture, which I'll put right here. It's just like a clear wrap that just cling to my skin. Basically, he said to leave that on for three to five days. And then when you take it off, it'll be fine and it'll be healed enough that it's not like gross anymore. Because getting a tattoo is basically like getting an open wound and it has to heal and it's gonna scar. And even after those three to five days were up, if you touch the skin, like you could feel that the skin where the tattoo is was raised. Now that's fully healed, it just feels like my skin. You know, there's no bumps, there's no raised skin that indicates scarring, it's fully healed right now. It took about six to eight weeks for the whole healing process to happen. See, what happened with me was my skin is pretty sensitive and I actually got like a little irritation from the saran wrap bandage that he put on me. And he said, if it ends up coming off before th those three to five days are up, then take it off and use something called aquaphor. Okay, so this is aquaphor and it's basically just like a water-based ointment. And it's really important that it's like water-based because you don't want to put any chemical formula on your tattoo while it's healing because you don't know what that could do to the ink and you don't know what that could do to the wound. So whenever you get a tattoo, just, I would just recommend getting aquaphor. It's like basically what everybody uses for their tattoos. Um, but anyways, yeah, so the three to five days with that saran wrap did not work out for me. I ended up having to take it off like a day or two after and I ended up just using aquaphor on my tattoo for the next week or two weeks or so and it's even it's just good to use like every once in a while if your tattoo is looking a little dry and it needs a little moisturizing I feel like the aftercare procedure is really not as hard to maintain as people think it is I put this on like two to three times a day and like had my shirt lifted up for a little bit and I would just walk around my dorm normally and it was all fine. I will just say I had to be careful, especially like right after I got it um, with showering. And also just afterwards, like right after I got it, an hour into like my lunch that I had, when you saw the bandage, you could see like the extra ink and a little blood like oozing out of it. Yeah, it, it just did not look pretty and it looked a little gross in, inside that bandage. So after all that, it was fine and I, was able to take it out and now it looks really good and I'm really happy with it. I have no regrets whatsoever, even though a lot of Karens out there will say that I will. <laughs> but yeah, so that was the whole aftercare procedure of me taking care of my tattoo. I feel like I didn't explain that that great, but you can take away anything from this video is that if you get a tattoo, get aquaphor as well. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that was my big rant about me getting my tattoo and telling you guys about my experience with it So I hope this was educational and hopefully this helped with like If you're thinking of getting a tattoo and like what that entails Obviously, please do more research than this video because I'm not a professional and I was just going based off of my own experience And I did a lot of research before I just went ahead and did it because I that's that's smart But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you made it to this point then you are a very good human And I'll see you in my next one Bye